So usually this time of the year, we have boat race that's uh, held in Port Alfred, um, which all universities take part in. Um, it's a USA event. So it's about 1,036 uh, kilometers from Joburg to Port Alfred. So just to keep the guys more motivated, um, the UJ Rain Committee came up with this idea to, to do a challenge uh, road to boat race. Um, the plan was to also row back, but we ended up just doing 1,036. And also with that, the guys thought would uh, hit um, two birds with one stone, because we partnered with the Vex uh, Foundation, Frida Hartley Shelter, and just, I think, a month before September, we got on the news that a child had passed away because of the cold winter. So we thought we'd do something, um, raise funds and collect blankets to, to give away. So this was a way of us um, just to reach out and get as many people as involved to donate blankets and raise funds. The student rowers had to complete um, a rowing machine, complete a session every morning or afternoon or whatever in their own time at their own space. They had to do a certain whatever distance they can do, so either running or cycling or swimming as well using uh, Strava to record distance and it will be submitted into one of the committee guys and then they will log on, on the system uh, every day. So we were probably averaging about 170 to 150 to 170 a day. As a young female uh, student athlete, it was very important for me to partake in this challenge because, you know, there are so many women out there who are being abused, who are being uh, raped and killed, children as well. So I just thought it was important for me to use sports, something that I love, to, you know, raise my voice and just speak about these issues of gender-based violence. I think uh, sports is very important, especially in fighting uh, social ills, because it helps young people, or anyone for that, matter to be active and you know to also know that they are a part of a team because sports is all about teamwork and stuff so we are able to unite come together and not always think about our problems and how back at home there's one two three four five but we are able to see that we are good at something this 1000 kilometer challenge that we set up between the committee members um, it was more or less a thing of us commemorating boat race in Port Alfred that we couldn't attend due to COVID and as well as commemorating the one year memorial of Uyunene who was so tragically killed last year. Uh, so more or less we as athletes, as part of the rowing club and the wider UG sport took it upon ourselves to directly combat gender-based violence as well as commemorate our sporting events that we didn't attend. As we celebrate in Sports and Recreation Month in October, uh, I think it's important that we remember how much of an opportunity sports presents the average person. I mean, you can take someone out of the township and give them the opportunity of a lifetime and might end up winning a gold medal in the Olympics. And that's a person that you keep in off the street, it's a person you keep in off drugs. Um, so yeah, I feel that uh, sports plays a very big role in bringing social cohesion, number one, and you could use it as a vehicle to combat uh, societal issues like gender-based violence, you can, um, poverty and such. So that's why I feel like uh, Sports and Recreation Month really also allows us to, to have that opportunity to do such. The rowing club itself has presented uh, students and staff a very, very different experience and various opportunities. Um, nationally, we go on three tours mainly. Eastern Cape, uh, we go to Eastern Cape twi twice, once to Port Alfred for the prestigious boat race event, which is a copy of the boat race that's held in England, the most popular rowing event in the world. And then we attend the famous Buffalo Regatta with South Africa's oldest trophy, uh, sporting trophies held at that regatta and we attend uh, the USA Sprints in Cape Town. So we allowing uh, students to, to travel South Africa, uh, see different parts of South Africa, number one. And number two, to our more elite athletes, um, we allow them the opportunity to, to race ab abroad. Um, so as the rowing club, we, we're fortunate enough to have access to a boat shed in Germiston at J Victoria Lake. Um, we have a very decent uh, fleet of boats that's allowed us to compete at these various different competitions. Additionally, we have the UJ gymnasium facilities at APK, access to sports scientists, biokinesists, um, physiotherapists, sports psychologists, sports managers. So we have a great support structure behind our athletes to, to better their performance.